recording this session. Okay. Myself, Ankit Narula. I have total 11 years of experience in the IT industry. Out of those 11 years of experience, in first three years, guys, I have worked in Oracle Apps as a techno-functional consultant. And then from last eight plus years, I'm working in top most two cloud platform. Which are those two topmost two cloud platform we have it in the market is AWS and Azure. So from last eight years, I'm working in these two cloud platforms. And currently I'm providing the training for four courses like for AWS Associate, AWS DevOps, Azure Admin, and Azure DevOps. And I'm giving the training from last 10 years. So this is about me, myself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some details in the chat box. And first of all, I'm going to share a WhatsApp community link in the chat box. If you are not there in our WhatsApp community of 235 batch, I'm requesting you to please join by using the link which I have shared in the chat box because with the help of that you will get the details about upcoming session details you will get those details and i'm also going to share about the social media details about our telegram group facebook page youtube channel and instagram details you can follow us also where you will get the details about our upcoming batches details also you will get so this is about me. Now, if anyone have any question regarding the training or regarding your career, you want to ask anything, I'm requesting you to please raise your hand and I'll try to talk with each and every person one by one. Yes, Pooja, you can unmute. Pujit. Yes, Pujita, you have raised your hand. You can unmute yourself and ask your question. Sir, I don't know, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. I'm requesting if you don't have any question, please don't raise your hand because it is going to... So please don't raise your hand if you don't have any question. Yes, Pani, you can unmute. Pani Kishore, you have raised your hand. You can unmute. Yeah, 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 Ankit. Do you have any question? Uh, uh, as of now, nothing, but I just tested the options. Uh, sorry for that. I'm again repeating, guys. If you don't have any question, please don't raise your hand. I'm going to lower down all the hands now. If you have any question now, you can please raise your hand now. And I'm again repeating, please don't raise your hand if you don't have any question. I'm really requesting you, please. Yes, Durga, you can unmute. Yeah, uh, so nothing. So I'm an apps DP. Eh? So how this will help me? I mean, uh, so what is have... your previous experience? Uh, I'm an apps DP, or a class apps DP. Oracle Applications Database Administrator. Yes, yes. And yes. I hope you are aware of that DBA jobs are very less in the market. Yes. And soon those are going to be finished from the market. Yeah. The reason is the cloud platform. Because every client is switching to cloud platform and in cloud platform, they don't need a DBA. Am I right? Yes. So definitely it's, you need to switch your career as soon as possible. So okay. if you want to survive in the IT industry, you need to switch to cloud platform. You don't have any other choice. Or yeah. Okay. Thanks. So definitely this course will help you to move into cloud platform. So if you want to work. 
ओके थैंक्स एनी मोर क्वेश्चन दुर्गा नथिंग थैंक यू यस अनुषा यू कैन अनम्यूट हाय अंकित आई होप यू कैन Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Ankit, currently I'm working in an IT operation domain. That is, I'm I'm an IT operation analyst, and it's mm. been like almost like four point nine four years, nine months, or maybe like five years. And okay. I wanted to switch to cloud domain. So, how was that going to help me in a sense? Because will they consider me as a fresher or? No, me. I know in which company you're working right now. I'm working in Accenture as an IT operation so analyst. Definitely, your company is having cloud platform projects mm -hmm. also. Your company is having cloud projects also. Am I right? Ah, uh, yes, Sankit. That's correct. And I so have the... also registered for the exam. That is cloud architect exam, which I have to complete by December thirty first. But I just wanted to know. I'm like started studying now, so. So first of all, you said that you are from a different platform. You are in operations, and you want to switch to cloud platform. And yes, in the you. company which you are working in, that also they have the project. So what you can do is not just for you, even for others also. Those but those people who want to switch their career from other technology, from other thing to cloud platform. If your company is having the cloud platform project, after learning of the training, just fill the IGPs. That's the easiest way to switch to cloud. Okay, even ten years, sorry, not ten years, eight years before, I have done the same thing. I am in the same organization from eleven years. Okay. And recently, my company has filled my H one B visa. I got my H one B visa. Now I'm in US right now. Just uh, if I say I say twenty five days before I shifted to US. Because of my previous experience, I'm working in the same company. They have they have applied for my H-1B, and that's good. I got that one, and they have I moved to US because of that experience. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you for clearing. The only me. way is you can go with that mm -hmm. one. Okay. Sure, Uncle. Sure, thank, Uncle. You. thank you. Yes, Nafiz, you can unmute. Uh, hi, hi, Ankit. Uh, myself, Nafiz. You know, I am from you know Hyderabad. Okay, I am having overall IT. Uh, I would say like fifteen years experience. Uh, where currently I am working as a IT infrastructure manager. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have been you know uh, I have been handling you know couple of uh, IT project management and IT operations, and even part of what you know, is your my question. Question is here. Uh, since recently, I have done with Logic Labs uh, Solution Architect. Uh, this advance on you know, which we are going to be attend this. How the this will be helpful uh, to uh, improve current architecture? What we are having in our organization? Is there any change? You know how it will be helpful if I am completion of this, which I am going to be attend. And no, whatever is I am teaching it is for that. We need to check the course content. Okay. Means I don't know use for that. Okay, I'm sharing the course content link in the chat box, or if you are in the WhatsApp community, if you check the description of that one, there also will get the course content. Sure. So whatever you are looking for, that you can if you if it's there in that course, you can please join the course also. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Naga, you can unmute. Uh, hello, Ankit. Yes, Naga. Uh, yes, uh, I want to know that uh, how long these uh, recording sessions are available for rewatching? Hello. Everywhere we are. Naga, are you able to hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, we have mentioned it everywhere that live training is free from our side. 
okay yeah if you need recording notes and any other thing for that one you need to pay and you need to pay 1770 inr in that case you will get access of recording notes ppts whatever i'm going to share you will get for lifetime but if you have any single cost okay okay thank you clear clear any more question nothing yes chandra you can unmute uh hi ankit myself chandra khan uh, yes chandra I I am from Bicom Gramin background. Uh, I have four plus years of experience as a FI consultant. So presently, from last one year, I didn't work anywhere. So I need to switch the AWS uh, like cloud services. So is it able to uh, catch up my uh, career and experience? Or uh, is it no? You have a career. You said that you have a career gap. No, no. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, from last one year, I am not working anywhere. Okay. Before I have four plus years of experience as a FI consultant. Okay. So you said that you have a career gap. So in that particular case, whenever you are applying for a job, you need to apply. You need to mention that you have a career gap there. Okay. 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 Uh, and. Uh, how is is the opportunities in the market? Uh, uh, you know, databases you know, like uh, uh, these cloud services, and how can I, uh, from my side, how can I get this job? Like uh, I'm FI background, right? So is it uh, able? No, they to... are not going to consider you for as a cloud, but they are going to consider as a fresher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are not going to because your previous experience is different one, so they are going to consider as a fresher. Okay. Uh, so whatever okay. previous experience that doesn't make any difference. Okay, okay. So okay. I am from B Cup background. So uh, they are going to fresh. Uh, uh, they are access. I mean, they are accepting that. Yes, they can. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, uh, Govardhan, you can unmute. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> yeah. And now I'm working as a system administrator, okay? And I'm from Hyderabad. So I need okay. to switch my career. Is it helpful for me? So I'm interested to switch if my career to, to cloud. Switch, definitely, yes. With the help of this course, you can switch your career over there. Okay. But this ex this system administrator experience, is it helpful, helpful for me along mm -hmm. this week? May I know in which company you're working? I'm working in EDZ Digital, Hyderabad. Is that company having cloud projects? Yes, 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 yes. So the, like earlier I said that after completion of this training, you can apply for the IGBs. That's the okay. best solution we have that you can switch your career. Now, in this one, I'll... Okay, in this one, I'll uh, get the cloud one uh, from basic one, right? From basic thing, I can learn. Basic. Right? This is not any anything in cloud platform. It's nothing like a basic thing. We have a levels. We have okay. it actually here. Okay. And the one level is architect okay. associate level. This is the one which we are learning. The next okay. level is professional level. Okay. So the, the levels we have, okay. there's nothing like a basic or advanced. We can call it in cloud platforms here we have the levels okay fundamental is completely optional it's not mandatory to learn you can go with the s these are the associate okay. one and then we have <coughs> professional levels and then after that we have specialist one the one which we are learning this is the specific one okay. we have. aws certified okay. solution yeah. architect so... associate okay, okay. So this is the one but level we are learning. By learning this course, by learning this course, I can switch my platform, right? Definitely, hundred percent, yes. Yeah, but as a fresher, I can do it. They are going to consider as a fresher, but if you are switching in okay. your own company, 
Uh, let's say example, okay. you're switching in your own company after two years, when you are going to change a job at that time, whatever okay. your previous experience you have and the current one is going to consider as a cloud experience. But if you're going okay, outside in the you, market, that will be fresher. But okay, if you switch in I your understood. own company, you will get more experience. Yes, 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 I understand. Okay, that's what yes, I have I done eight years before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, JB okay. Kumar, you can unmute. Yes, JV Kumar, you can ask your question. Shake, you can unmute. Hi. Hi, Angir. Hi. Hi, my question is, uh, actually, currently I am working in IT, IT, and I have four years of IT experience. Which is in uh, okay. OS OS uh, Solaris domain. Okay. Actually, I'm uh, I wanted to switch into uh, AWS cloud. Uh, can I uh, put into the uh, two to three years of experience in cloud, and I can look for the uh, uh, AWS architect. After completion of this training, if you want to put some experience, you can put two years of experience. Yeah, that is what my question. Because at the end of the training, I'm going to share two self-learning videos also for project also. Okay. Yeah. With that one or yeah. whatever we are going to learn in the training, you can put two years yeah. of experience. Yeah. Along with my total experience, I can add two plus years of experience in cloud, yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, thanks for your guidance. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Kalyani, you can unmute. Actually, uh, I worked as an assistant managing editor in Omics International. Okay. So now I'm trying to switch to cloud. Uh, will this experience be used anywhere or should I go as a fresher now? If you're going outside, then definitely it will be a fresher. If you're switching in your own company, that is going to be considered as a cloud experience in future. So it's but up to you. You want to go outside of your organization in... or if you're comp... No, but in our organization, Sorry. we don't have anything related to cloud. So then we are going to consider you as a fresher. Okay. Then uh, taking this training okay. directly, I can uh, switch to cloud. Yes, uh, definitely, what would yes. be the initial package if uh, fresher is a uh, just considering packages? I can't say anything about packages because it depends on the company to company. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Santosha, you can unmute. Uh, uh, hi, sir. Good morning. See, Good uh, morning. I have fourteen plus years experience in uh, Windows and VMware. Currently, uh, I'm taking a uh, training with uh, Sunil uh, okay. every day, DevOps. So uh, what do you say? Just like after uh, completing the DevOps, uh, shall I go with these things or, uh, you know, shall I continue with uh, together both? Like No, Santosha, it, it depends on you. It depends purely on you. If you have time, you can practice it. You can go with both. Okay. If you don't have time, you can go one by one. Because the main thing is you need to practice it. Okay. And, and one more thing. The, which is the better, like the AWS or Azure? Like, okay. Be... okay. Can you hear me? The market. Yes, I'm able to hear you. Yeah, the thing is... Are you able like... to hear me, Santosha? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, the thing is, uh, what I'm asking, okay. so uh, shall I go with the AWS or Azure? No, it depends on you. As per current situation in the market, AWS is number one and Azure is number two in the market. 
Okay. Okay. It's completely up to you which one you want to go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's what I just wanted. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank God you can unmute. When get CS, you have raised your hand to ask your question. You need to unmute yourself. When get you are on mute. Parthi, you can unmute. Hi, Ankit. Hi. Yeah. Uh, I am Linux admin. And uh, okay. our clients recently, means one year back, they moved to AWS. So I'm already working in AWS. Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, as I have, uh, only I learn AWS, means from past one year. Uh, if I complete this course, will I be able to crack the exam, AWS Associate uh, Certification, the first? No. The, no, there is a reason behind because for certification, you need theory knowledge and this is practical training. Okay. Okay. But if you want to do certification at the end of the training, we're providing you a dump with the help of that particular dump. You mm -hmm. can clear the certification also. Okay. So, uh, do I need to take that uh, cloud practitioner certificate also? No. What do you it think? is completely a wastage of time and money. This it's one. again it's only theory, right? Not much practical it's involved in that. It's not required because this is optional actually. Okay. You can directly go with the associate certification. Yeah. Our client so wanted want us to do that, but money from what is their requirement? They want you to do no, no, we, associate wanted, one or the pre, uh, first but one. But we, did, we didn't one. do that because because it well, it happened like uh, they didn't have any cloud resources also. Answer. So it was us. We only started okay. working. So we didn't do that. But now so definitely after, yeah, after one year, we are also planning to go for the uh, solution architect associate level. Yeah, go with this one. Don't go with the foundational one. Okay. And then how will be the career map uh, further, Ankit? I mean, now from Linux admin to cloud support engineer. Now to work on cloud platform, you need to have basic knowledge about Linux. And that's what the basic of Linux also we are covering in the training also. Mm -hmm. So it will be good if you already have a, that knowledge. That will really help you. Yes, I have because I'm Linux okay. admin. Yeah, so, so definitely you have that knowledge. So later, uh, the future will be like uh, uh, from this basic cloud to uh, it will be like advanced levels then, right? Yes. After that, the next step will be if you want, you can go with the DevOps part. Okay. That will be the next step. If you want, you can go with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Ashwin, you can unmute. Hi, Ankit. Able to hear Hi. me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm a mainframe developer. My current project is uh, going to shift to AWS. So how soon I can uh, move into that path if I go with Sorry, this Can you please repeat your question again? I'm a mainframe developer and uh, my current project is migrating to AWS. Okay. So we have resources, but I would like to continue in this project by learning mm. AWS to switch my career. How soon I can uh, make it happen? Like uh, uh, with I, I, I right now I don't know which services they are using right now, so I can't guess it that even maybe after fifteen days you can start working with them, or even after completion of that training. I can't okay. see you anything because I know what services they are using right now. Okay. okay. Then I could uh, ask uh, further questions in during my session. Definitely, yes, you can ask yeah. me or even I'm going to share my email ID with you guys. Okay. So okay. if you have any doubt whenever you're doing practice, you can email me also. But yes, yeah, sure. regarding the training, whichever your doubts you have. Okay. Thank you. 
ओके थैंक यू यस रामा हाय अंकल हाय actually i am an automation tester i have 10 uh, plus years of experience and i am working in product based company okay uh, actually i am starting from the zero i actually uh, the reason why i wanted to learn aws is uh, recently i filed h1b and uh, uh, my consultant uh, suggested me to learn actually h1b is approved and my consultant is uh, suggested me to learn this aws so until february i should be so get your exam is approved yes yes sir no that's congratulations yeah thank you but i am in a dilemma that will i get the job on it if i learn it if i start from now onwards so as a tester they suggested me uh, it's better to move from testing side to the uh, cloud uh, so because in us we, most of the jobs are with okay clouds we have okay rather than the testing one jobs are more okay that's why they told you yeah is it a good idea of moving to us uh, leaving job in product based company and might be uh, might be rama you didn't listen it earlier 20, on 7th of october it's i should say it's just 24 days i moved to us okay Yeah, uh, I got my H one B this year in the month of March. I got the H one, so it got approved in the month of August, and I got the visa on twenty first of September. So on seventh of October, I moved to US on H one B visa. Okay. My company has applied my H one B because of the. I'm working in the uh, cloud platform. Okay, so you are you went through the company, so I am coming through the consultancy. So, what do you suggest me? I mean, can I be able to get the job on AWS if I move there? Yes, definitely. Yes, I even I'm working on both the cloud platforms right now. Working it, AWS and Azure. Okay, I don't know anything about AWS. AWS. That is the reason that, I'm asking. That's what that's what we are going to teach you, Rama. Don't worry about that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, hi, sir. Hi. How are you, sir? Hi. I'm good. How are you, Atul? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. Actually, I'm big fan of you, Stan Sunil, sir. Since beginning, I am following you. Thank you. And Thank you. first of all, congratulations on your achievement. Uh, finally, you got uh, your dream means. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. my company is applying from last four four to five years, my H one B. So finally, this year I got my H one B visa. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, congratulations, sir. Thank you. So, and I'm salute uh, to you, sir. Actually, what the dedication you are putting to convey means how the cloud uh, platform is helping and growing our career in future and as well as uh, nowadays. So yes. I have I means. Yeah, I have uh, just simple question. I have seven plus years of experience, and I'm working with top client like in finance domain, city and HSBC. Uh, uh, the question is like I means nowadays the, the IT market like you know means layoff and all those thing is happening. Uh, could you please suggest means how we can uh survive or how we can uh grow with those skills or we can search new job. that will help that now us. nowadays every company needs a the person who is multitasking correct correct they are not going to hire a person only for a specific one they or want the person to be one on multiple things yeah so if you want to survive in the market you need to upgrade your skills every after every few months or year you need to upgrade yeah. i need to learn more things that's the only way to survive it there is no other way there is no other thing you can do that nowadays yeah and also if you see so means like uh, nowadays the sre is also growing kevs engineering is gro also growing so means i have those skill also as well and i am trying to switch means my organization and i am looking for another opportunity so that's why i have asked the same question uh, already i have brought your courses like from last june month and uh, i'm repeatedly uh practicing those skill as well it's not only means i have learned uh, aws since uh back in 90 or uh, 
so okay. since there i am following you sunil so and you and every year i have brought you courses i have learned and, and if you are talking about practice. 2019 till date there are a lot of changes happen in yes yes every year cloud is the platform where they are doing yes. changes every month actually correct even correct, i can't sir. guess it that even i can't guess it right now which i'm teaching you right now might be tomorrow yeah. that options will be changed little bit not everything is not going to change but little bit of option might be they change it they'll move that option from left to right and we are looking correct. where is that option so it happens correct. every every day to us yeah. also so one of the example is like bashan hosts so they have uh, uh, deprecated nowadays and if you see like they are providing 3000 300 plus services and for those 3000 plus service upgrade and update for those services so it is very hard to means survive with those skill means fast skill so we need to upgrade so every that's what i'm doing yeah 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 every yeah, day we need to update sir. yeah thank you sir and thank all you. the best for your future sir and thank you for you us your us journey thank you same to you yeah thank you okay few more questions and then we'll start with the uh, demo session okay yes mohammad you can unmute mohammad azhar you have raised your hand Yes, Ram V D. You can unmute. Ram V D. Have raised your hand to ask your question. It to unmute. Naveen, you can unmute. Yeah, hello, Ankit. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yeah, how it's going? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm well. Thank you. Uh, recently, I've been uh, laid off uh, with no reason. Like uh, either it is the billing is the issue or else uh, any other thing. I don't know. But they've been laid off uh, past uh, June this year. So mm-hmm. from then to uh, till now, I've been. Uh, i been uh, searching for the devops role so i came to know that this is the logic lab technology is providing this free training about aws and devops as well so i joined this sunil sir class and right now i am in this uh, your your class as well okay. so uh, my doubt is like uh, is it uh, as you mentioned earlier that it is necessary for you to mention a career gap if it is more than one year right or else should be mentioned because like uh, i've been uh, laid off on past uh, june right from no, june to now even if now, you have a one year you can mention that also it's just I a, uh, if i talk about july august september october november five months yeah so yes you can mention it that you have so, a career gap of five months so why to mention like five months like i can uh, may I mention those these five months also in the past experience is that possible if you have any source you can mention that okay but if there is a career gap again they will take me as a fresher right if you no know, if you are if you are not going to consider as a fresher but if you have experience same with the cloud platform no my previous experience is like prod support uh, so even you have if you not have a career gap then also they are going to consider as a fresher okay you have a career but gap or you don't have a career gap if you don't have a cloud experience for them it will be fresher but like i will like you said i will keep like this past uh, the three years experience of me i will keep like two years i worked in aws and devops is that okay uh, right? like like this you can yeah then it is okay right yeah but my doubt so is that, this, but i uh, said the two years two years experience but yes you said that you are working with devops also yeah so you can go with three years of experience also okay then but okay. this uh, uh, tenure of 8 to 9 months so in order to get a job again uh, these 8 uh, to 9 months should i keep like a career gap or else i can mention this thing in the uh, my including the, my previous experience like total 3.8 years of experience is that okay it's up to you navin if you want to put a career gap you can put that also okay uh, no you no know, any problem will be getting right if, no if no no it's it's common nowadays with career gap it's a common okay for female it's more common than men's but for female okay. it's more common 
but not okay. for much for men's but it is common nowadays don't okay. worry about and that how should i like uh, fill those eight to nine months or uh, 10 to 11 months gap in order uh, while just to get to mention is career gap okay 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 nothing okay. else you need to mention it okay okay yeah okay. yeah Thanks yes Uh, hi. Uh, hi. As you mentioned, like it's very common the uh, career gap. So I also have a career gap, and it's a it's like ten year of career gap. And that's now I'm huge. going to start. Yeah, that's too much. And I'm going to start with. I'm thinking to start with AWS now. So okay. uh, initially, I was working on the uh, like I was trying to uh, do the cloud pra practitioner. Mm -hmm. And then I got uh, your this AWS Architect Associate. So I have the question like, is it compulsory? Not compulsory. Is that uh, like uh, you already answered my question uh, that uh, you don't need. It's a waste of time. So, but still, do they ask for the certification mm -hmm. of cloud practitioner? No. If you have an associate one, hundred and ten percent, they are not going to ask you because you have an upper level certification. Why are they going to ask yes. for the lower level? Yes, but yes, but if you it want will to help. Go for, but yes, let me complete. If yeah. you want to go for a professional level certification, let's say example in future, hmm. then it is mandatory to have an associate certification because it's a prerequisite. Oh, okay. For professional okay. level, it is it is mandatory to have an associate certificate, but to get associate certification, it is not mandatory to have a foundational certification. Okay, got it. But it will help me to understand the concept or it will not help at all? Like the same thing I'm going to learn here also. You are going to learn here also. You don't need to go with that foundational one. Whatever the basic things and other things, you will learn here. Okay. And one more question I have uh, regarding this uh, course. Like, is this mm. a 45 days course? But is mm. this going to be every day or it's only on the weekdays? And like it, how it, it will... It will be... Uh, you are from which country? I'm in uh, USA. Oh, you are from US, so then it will be Monday to Friday for you. Okay. And same you are time. From which, the time, what is your time right now? Means which, uh, in which time zone you are in? It's a 10 uh, zero 08. So yes. you are from same time zone which I'm in, CDT. Okay, yes. So CDT right now. But yes, from after 5th of November, time will be changed. It will be 8.30 p.m. CST after 5th of November. Yes, after daylight saving. Because so it's... time zone is going to be changed. And this is, uh, guys, please don't get confused. I'm talking with Sujata. This is just only for people who are from US. Time zone is going to be changed. As per those are from India or from other country, time will be same as per 8 p.m. IST. This time zone is going to change from 5th of November. Yes. So okay. it's going to be only from Monday to Friday, right? Friday as per US, as per India, it will be Tuesday to Saturday. Okay. Got it. Okay. And it's, it's um, going okay. to just be a like... just, um, just a minute. Let me mention it here so other people will come. So Tuesday to Saturday India, Monday to Friday will be from USA. So make sure, guys, you are going to join the session as it is. Timing will be as per India, 8 p.m. IST. Yes, Sujata, you can continue the question. And one more thing, uh, like the you said about the for the certification, we need the dumps. So do I need to buy that from you? or uh, Like earlier, I said the live training is free. Yes. If you're going to, if for other things, if you need from our side, you need to pay 1770. Or if I talk about in US dollars, it will yes. be... 22 US dollars. Okay. okay. And then I can sell, right? In 22 US dollars, these are things you will get from our side. So in that one, dump is also including. Live training is free. Means okay. these are the yeah. things actually you will get. So and that uh, US dollar, I can sell to you, right? It's easy to like transfer. No, you need to pay it from our website. You're not going to directly pay to me. You're going to pay through website. But our in... website. But in like I don't have to pay to India like the transfer. No, 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 no. You are no, going no. to pay out through our website. In that website, if I show you, if, if I'm I'm going to open the website from US, so it will display us the price in US dollars. See here, you can see here all the prices of all other courses are in US dollars. Okay. So if any other person is going to open this website from India, 
he will see the same price in indian rupees no that's fine but i have other classes from india where i have to pay in indian currency i have to transfer to the bank account that's very complicated mm, no 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 you are not going to pay you are going to directly pay from our website on this spot you will get access of your course within fraction of second once payment get completed okay okay you are Thank going you. to pay in us dollars you can pay by using your credit card or debit card whichever you feel comfortable okay one more last question sorry i'm asking okay. too much uh, so when is the end date for this session like the 45 days this it's is the 45, 45 days course if i pred i can say right now it's today is 5th 1st of november in us and yes. it will be might be made of the december i can say that okay perfect okay yeah thank you so much thank you okay so we have asked a lot of questions now so let's start with some of the introductory part about the cloud platform. Now, whenever a word coming cloud, it means those are cloud computing. Now, whatever is AWS, Azure, GCP, what are these things? These all are cloud computing services. And these cloud platforms we can access from any part of the location you are from india us uk australia new zealand wherever you are in the location you can access these cloud platform from any part of the location and you can even access this cloud platform by using public or private network now what is public network the network which we are using normally in our day to day the internet connection which we are calling it that's public network but which is the one called as private one the network which is private use only in the organizations which normally we call it as vpn with that one also we can access our cloud platform so you can access this cloud platform by using public or private network and you can use this cloud platform for anything, whichever you want. You want to build your application. You want to build an infrastructure. You just want to use for storage purpose. Whatever is the reason, we can use this cloud platform for any of the reason. And it can be accessible from any type of device also. You can access from your mobile, laptops, computer, tabs. You can access this from any device also. And here are the few features about cloud computing. I'm not going in much more details about these features, but I'm going to discuss two important features, security and pay as you go. In cloud platforms, we are getting it. One of the best security features we are getting it. And the second one is pay as you go. You only need to pay for that time period if you are using that particular service for that time period. Let's say example, you are using one of these in AWS, we have a one service called EC2, which we learn what is EC2, we learn in upcoming session. I'm just giving an example here. You have used that particular service for one hour. So for how much time period you are going to pay? Only for one hour. You are not going to pay for full day or full week or full month. No. If you are using a service for one hour or two hours or three hours, you are going to pay only for that particular time period. You don't need to pay any additional fees to cloud platforms. And I'm not just talking about AWS here. Here I'm talking about cloud platforms means AWS is also coming in this, Azure is also coming, even our Google Cloud or Oracle Cloud, all clouds are coming in this. Types of cloud computing. We have a two types of models. One is called deployment model. Other one is called service model. In deployment models also, we have three types, public, private, hybrid, in service models also, we have three types, IAAS, SAAS, and P 
double AS. Now, let's discuss a little bit about these things. Whatever the cloud platform we have, it's AWS, Azure, or Google, all cloud platforms are coming under public cloud. Private clouds, which are internal clouds, which a companies have made their own cloud, those cloud are called as private cloud. Hybrid clouds, combination of both public and private cloud. Means in companies, they are using their own cloud also. They are using public cloud also. Means like AWS, they are using. And then few of the clients are using both. They are using public also. Even they are using private cloud also. So combination of both public plus private cloud are called as hybrid cloud. Now, so these are deployment models we have. Next is service models. First one is IAAS, infrastructure as a service. All cloud computing services, whichever we have, are coming under infrastructure as service. Why it is coming as infrastructure as service? Because we are going to use their infrastructure. We are using their RAM their CPU, their hard disk, their internet connection, we are using. So that particular, all cloud platforms are coming under infrastructure as a service. Then we have PWAS, platform as a service. In AWS, we have a service called Elastic Beanstack, which we learn in our upcoming session also. Uh, we will learn once we reach to the PPT number 87. We have total 96 PPTs. So once we reach to the PPT number 87, at that time we will learn a service called Elastic Beanstack. That particular service is called as Platform as a Service. Why it is called as Platform as a Service? Because in this one, what we can do is we can just upload our code. Whatever the infrastructure needs to be created, that is completely taken care by the AWS cloud. So that's why this particular service is called as platform as a service. You will more understand about this particular service once we learn that service. And the third and the last one is software as a service. Gmail, Dropbox, WhatsApp, Telegram. What are these? These all are called as software as a service, which we can access from our mobile phones also. And even we can access these things from web also. We have a web.whatsapp. We can Gmail also. We can use Dropbox also. We can use from our mobile phones also, even from web browsers also. So these are called as software as a service. So these are types of cloud computing models we have in the market. Now, which cloud we are learning? We are going to learn about only one single cloud about the name is called as AWS. Full form is Amazon Web Services. Which company has started this cloud platform? By a company called Amazon. And they are the first service provider in the market who has started the cloud computing services at high level. They have started in 2006. Microsoft Azure started in 2010. They have started, they are the number one cloud platform we have. And how many regions they have? 32 regions. It means 32 data centers they have.
so in, in few days not in few days in upcoming days we'll get 36 so four are in process so here i've given the details the complete log uh, url let me share that url in the chat box with you guys now we can start with north america here we have in north america wherever you see these green dots these are working regions we have. But wherever you see this red color dot, means coming soon. Here we have in South America, in Europe, here we have one is coming soon we have here, Germany. And if I talk about in Middle East, here I'm getting three we have. This, this is the one recently they have launched two months before Israel one. Here we are in Cape Town. Asia Pacific, here we have. These are the coming soon. In India, we have two in Mumbai, in Hyderabad. Here we have more. Australia and New Zealand. Here we have. So total right now, we can see, we can click on overview. 32 are working regions they have. And four are coming soon. Soon we will get those also. So they have 32 regions, right? It means 32 data centers all over the world they have. Now, in tomorrow's session, what we are going to learn is we are going to learn about how to create an Azure account. And whenever you are going to create an Azure account, are they going to charge you for practice purpose? No. They are not going to charge you for practice purpose. They are giving you some free details also. Free trial subscription. So it means for a few months, you can practice freely without paying any single rupee to them. Now, whenever you are going to create your Azure account, there are three types of services you will find there. Few are the services which will be free for 12 months. Few are the services which will be free for lifetime. And few are the services which will be free only for trial period. Trial period means like this particular service is free only for 90 days, 45 days, only for that particular trial period. Always free means lifetime free. 12 months free means that particular service is only from the day of activation of your AWS account for next 12 months you have it. And it doesn't mean for next 12 months it is completely unlimited free, no. In 12 months also, they have put some quota for us. That only in 12 per month quota they are giving to us. Like in this month, how much of free quota we can use. Do we have any option where we can check that how much free quota we have used? Yes, we have that option also. We will see in upcoming session, but which service is coming under 12 months, which service is coming under always free or trial period? Let me open that link. Let me share this link also in the chat box. The type of offers, free trial, 12 months free, always free. Here we have tier type. I can first select 12 months free. 
Here I'm getting few services which are for 12 months free. The first service is Amazon EC2. Very few minutes before also I have used a word EC2. This particular service is free 750 hours per month. And it doesn't mean the 750 hours per month you can use any type. Under that also they have given the types. T4G small, T2.micro, T3.micro. They have mentioned these types. What is this T4G small, T2.micro, T3.micro? We will discuss in upcoming session. So this particular service is coming under 12 months free. Then we have Amazon S3, 5 GB, we can store data. We have RDS service, 750 hours per month free. So these are the few services which we have for 12 months free. And here we have service for always free. DynamoDB is a database. 25 GB of data I can store for lifetime. Lambda, 1 million free requests per month. We have SNS service for lifetime. They are giving 1 million requests free. After 1 million, they start going to charge us. Before 1 million, they are not going to charge us. So here are the services which are for always free you can we have multiple pages you can go to those pages also and then here we have trial period two months two months 40 hours 15 days 750 hours so here we have three types of offers which we are getting and in this particular link which i have shared with you here you will get the details that particular service is coming under which type of offer. If you want, you can directly search also from here. You have a search option. I can just search EC2. Here I'm getting EC2. Related to EC2, what are the other services we have? Even those are also coming here. So the link which I have shared, this is very important link which actually help you to understand in upcoming session if for that particular service is AWS is going to charge you or not. And right now, as per the current situation in the market, AWS is number one cloud we have in the market. Number two is Microsoft. Number three, Google and then we have other clouds we have. And services which we are going to cover in this training. Here are the list of services I have mentioned. 15, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 services which we are covering in this particular training. And for this particular course is 40. Course content link I have already shared with you. Course fees I have already informed you. Life Training is completely If you want to completion of this training, if you want to go for any certification, you can go for this particular certification, AWS Certified Solution Architect. And if you are going to join this particular batch, what are the things you will get from our side? I have already informed about these things. From our side. Now, any question anyone have, please raise your hand because this is about from my side. Let's have quick questions and then we'll end the session. 
yes udhir you can yeah hi ankit thank you for uh, first of all thank you for giving the chance <laughs> actually yes, i have two questions to ask regarding this so uh, out of yeah sure ankit so one thing is like uh, while we're doing our the practical session so are we going to have something like a aws glue where we are actually using the pi script uh, pi uh, pi spark script aws glue oh. is not part of the associate training okay it is coming under professional level course the next level which we have after that and glue might be aware that it's an etl tool right correct correct so it's not part of the associate level so uh, ankit if i want to join the professional level itself then uh, i mean we going to have a to demo for that or professional to learn professional level first you need to have associate knowledge it is mandatory okay okay directly you can't go with the professional level because in that one there are two things which they are going to teach you but you are not aware of those services basics you are not aware of that so it will not it's not possible for you to understand those things even if you see this also the certification path this one before professional level it is mandatory to have associate okay okay sure so uh, here in the logic lab logic lab itself i can get the professional level itself once no, this course is providing the professional level training okay and uh, second part is like are we gonna have some linux commands in this over here which we are basics going to use in the linux, devops we are going to cover it basics of linux just a very basics okay and if you just okay. see that one at the end or uh, not at the end of the training i'm going to share linux command also so where you will get all the linux commands also so if you are interested to learn more about linux you can learn from your side also okay sure okay. and one last question so in our associate level okay. uh, do we cover any devops uh, 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 any tool no no devops is not part of associate in SSO training, we are not going to cover anything about DevOps. I'm requesting a day for more days. You can check the course content. Course content with that, your doubts will be more clear. Okay. Okay. Sure, Ankit. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, yeah, for clear, clear, clarifying my doubts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Santosh, you can unmute. So, uh, hi, good morning. And first of all, thanks for uh, uh, arranging such, such a session. Just uh, wanted to know, I have around 21 years of experience in uh, IT and telecom and banking in India and uh, in diversified geographies like Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and recently I came from uh, Africa. Okay. So, I was, I was uh, taking care of IT head position there. But it's more like in last four or five years, it, it moved more into non-technical role. Like you can understand it's ITSM and uh, SLA management and this, that. So uh, I want to see uh, uh, what best I can do to upgrade my skills and to what best for my career prospect. So if you want to learn something, you can go with the cloud platform because as per the latest things, Everyone is switching to cloud platform. So this is what you can do for your career right now. So that is the reason I, I earlier also, I, I, I bought the plan from Mr. Sunil. Uh, and now I'm going ahead with this one. Definitely, yes, you can go with this one also. So I need to start from the basic or uh, directly I can plug in here? No, directly you can join this particular course. Whatever the basic things is required, we are covering all those things. To start with the AWS, sir. Okay. Second thing, uh, uh, I have a DLP imposed in my laptop. Whether I can exactly. use this, all this uh, data leakage prevention means I cannot use, uh, I cannot send any emails I, and uh, all this means there was a filter always uh, on my all outgoing things. So uh, this okay. these two technologies I can use there or I need to buy a separate for uh, this thing? Or you don't need those I... technologies anywhere in the cloud platform to work on cloud platform. Okay. Okay. 
okay might be if i'll do something it will be tracked somewhere uh, no. so that is advised to use laptop official laptop or I no, don't use your official laptop because with official laptops you are not able to practice all those things so use Correct. your personal laptop okay because right. you need and... to use putty to connect to this linux machine you need to use putty or git bash you need right. to use right. it they will restrict right. you right and you are right. not able to practice other topics yeah, yeah. in domain i cannot do, do that yeah so better to use your personal laptop Okay, no problem. Thank you. Mr. Ankit, can I have your uh, uh, mobile? I, I need to talk to you. Sorry, I can't share my mobile number. I'm going to share my email ID. Okay. If you have any questions while practicing, you can email me. No, uh, means uh, Google Meet email ID or something where I can I'm call you. Uh, no, five sorry. Minutes. I'm not available on phone calls or other way right now. Okay. Email me if you have any questions no whenever you're doing practice. No problem, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yeah. you can unmute. Malik, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Malikarjun, I'm not able to hear you. Anil, you can unmute. Anil, you can unmute and ask your question. Anand, you can unmute and ask your question. Yeah, hi, Angit. It's covered all the questions, actually. I raised my hand initially, so it's covered uh, almost. Do you have any more questions? Yeah, no, uh, Angit. Thank you very much. Your session is almost... Uh, Covered all the things and it's more informative. Thank you, Anand. Yeah. Thank you, Anand. Yes, Hemad, you can unmute. Hemad, you can unmute and ask your question. Uh, hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Hemad. Uh, actually, present I was working as a uh, Linux administrator. In our organization, mm. we have a AWS servers also, but we don't have access much uh, to work on it. Uh, when I I was to plan to switch to another organization. How was to okay useful to my career? Okay, so what is your question here? When I was learning this course, now how was they useful to my further future career? No, Hemad, like earlier, I have, we have already discussed with some other person also regarding the same question. Everything okay. is moving to cloud platform. Yeah. So if you want to survive in IT industry, you, you need to switch to cloud platform because okay. very less clients are left. Those are using on-premises servers. Okay. So if you want to work on cloud platform, you need to learn it. Okay. Okay. There is no other choice left in the market nowadays. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sunita. Hi, Ankit. Hi, Ankit sir. Good morning. Hi, Hello. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, yes, Sunita, you can ask your question. Thanks for sharing this uh, awesome uh, lectures, uh, awesome course for us. Actually, I have the uh, 
uh, 3 plus years of experience 3 to 4 uh, years of experience in a, with uh, AWS DevOps uh, but currently mm-hmm. I am working with uh, SAP CPA cloud platform integration so so if i are okay. uh, learning this course specifically for uh, aws uh, associate so mm-hmm. is it uh, useful for me definitely yes okay so you are going to learn something new learn learning something new definitely help in your career yeah yeah so uh, uh, what i mean to say is actually can i uh, continue uh, uh with this aws associate uh, specifically uh without mentioning devops uh, in this or what sir or can i uh, add uh, both it's up to you or it's up to the client if you are going to do a job or if you are switching for any company it depend on that one so based on that if you have a multiple knowledge put those things you will get a better package also Yes, yes. Actually, sir, uh, uh, you know, I told right, uh, three plus years of experience uh, with the uh, AWS DevOps. So, uh, without mentioning, actually, currently I, I'm working with SAP CPA, that is a uh, SAP Cloud Platform Integration. Okay. So, I don't want to use this, uh, add this uh, experience. So, can I add uh, total entire uh, five years experience uh, on this AWS associate? No. After completion of this training, you can only, only only put two years of experience. If you go with the AWS DevOps, then you can put three and three and a half of experience, not more than that. So okay, so for three years okay. I can uh, add uh, AWS DevOps, and for uh, two years I can AWS plus one. AWS DevOps. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, three and a half. Not more Sorry, than that. Your voice is not getting struck. Okay. Hello. Three three and a half years of three three and a half years of experience you can put. Not more than that. Uh for both AWS and AWS DevOps, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can unmute. Uh, sorry, I just have one thing regarding the course content. We do have projects. So, I mean, like, uh, will it going to cover, I mean, most of the services that which you have showed it in the content? Yes. If you see the in that one, it is clearly mentioned. Mm-hmm. The services name so, which we are going to cover it. Yeah, right. And, so, and those are self-learning projects you will get. Okay, and we, we can do that in our feed, uh, the free tier account which we're gonna open, yes, right? Yes, definitely, yes. Okay, and sir, uh, this same thing can we keep it in our profile as well? Definitely, if you yes, want you it, can put that also. Okay, 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 sure, sir. Yeah, that answers my question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Priya, you can unmute. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. So I uh, just want to say you congratulations for your achievement. Thank you. Uh, so uh, this is my first session with you. And recently I joined the Mr. Sunil's uh, DevOps course. So I was just thinking about, because I am not aware of AWS and DevOps, all these things. So he has suggested me your name because i was asking him continuously uh, please you take the sessions but he suggested uh, your name so i thought means if he is suggesting then uh, you are the best for learning so thank you for uh, just uh, it's not like started that one. this session we we we, we are not so, uh, we can't say we are a best but we trying our our best to give you yeah, the yeah. knowledge uh, Yes, because, yeah, I just saw his uh, teaching things. So, means many people impressed with him, even I also. And because the explanation he is doing, uh, we like much. So, we are expecting uh, we will get the uh, faculty like uh, him only. So, we will, I mean, uh, more, uh, utilize your skills more for upgrading our knowledge. 
so i'm uh, again saying thank you to uh, you for just uh, means starting and uh, uh, my question is i am uh, working in the grc project it's, it's related to the enterprise application and mm -hmm. in that uh, we are just providing right now support but somewhere i uh, read uh, it's uh, aws is also working in the grc kind of thing so can we uh, means learn the things which are related to the grc as well like earlier i said and, the, uh, priya in this one we are covering about the only architect associate level we are not going okay. to cover any other level parts in this particular training okay so actually i am not a so whatever is related what to you know, that that's what i'm saying it whatever is related uh -huh. to the job profile of associate architect person okay okay this one solution architect person only that uh -huh. job roles services we are covering it okay okay Okay. And those and details if... I have mentioned in the course content. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for this one. And if I will have any other question, I will email you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Yes, Rahul, you can unmute. Uh, hi, Angel. Thanks for right. providing this training. So, uh, uh, my basic question is related to the same. So, uh, I'm from network and security background. So, uh, uh, my ultimate aim is to complete the networking certification. So, do I need to complete this AWS professional uh, as well along with yes. this associate? Certificate? Yes, because to go to specialist one, uh -huh. first is associate, then professional, and then specialist. You okay. can't directly go for the specialist one. Okay, thank you for this clarification. And second question is, uh, if we pay for that amount, so when we will get this recording, uh, is it uh, on the same day or? Uh... Within four hours, we'll upload the recording. Okay, within a four hours. So we can go through yes. the, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Bharat, you can unmute. Uh, hi, sir. Hi. Uh, my question is like uh, uh, in upcoming sessions, uh, are we going to cover AWS building uh, towards the uh, cost optimization? Bharat, like earlier I said, that one, whatever is related to architect associate level, we are covering it and all the details is mentioned in the course content. So if anyone or Bharat, whatever, if you have any doubts, whatever we are covering it, I'm requesting you to please check the course content because in that one, and you will get more clarification what we are covering or what we are not covering. Okay. So I have sh again shared the course content link or if you are in the WhatsApp community, Bharat, if you check the description, there also you will get the course content link. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any more question? Towards I have five plus experience into uh, SAS administration. So from uh, this year, from March onwards, uh, I'm into the AWS administration. So if I'm planning to switch uh, company, so I'm planning to switch my career also, like uh, from SAS to uh, uh, AWS. So okay. how how okay. my experience? Uh, yeah, your previous experience is different, but that is not related to cloud, Bharat. So that is not going to consider in a cloud cloud X. Yes. Okay, sir. thank you. Thanks. Okay, clear, Bharat. Yes, Anshul. Yes, Anshul, you can ask your question. Swapnil, you can ask your question. Uh, hi, Ankit. Uh, thank you. Hi. Am I audible? Yes, Swapnil. Yeah. So, Ankit, uh, I am into the uh, networking, uh, switching routing and uh, security uh, uh, domain. So, mm -hmm. to, uh, 
I just wanted to understand because we are actually moving into the AWS recently. And we are mm-hmm. deploying the firewalls in the AWS too, like the FortiGate, etc. And we are planning to build some kind of the side-to-side uh, VPNs over the AWS to the on-premise devices which we have. So for okay. for those kind of services like deployment of the firewalls into the AWS, do we need to have the uh, which kind of the uh, certification or the we is it the advanced networking or is the professional the networking one? one. You know, in professional one, you will learn about the my integration services, but in the which you're talking about, those things you will learn in the networking one. Okay. So actually the combination of professional plus networking will be there. Okay. And for, for my career perspective, I, this is the right path, right? So first con- con- conduct the associate and professional and the networking, right? Security specialist. Yes, correct. Uh, you can go with that also, but you are you said from networking one, but better go with the networking one first, then after that you can go with security specialist. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thanks, Thank Anik. Yes, Roy, you can unmute. Hello. Yes, Roy. Right. Yes, Roy. Right. Thank you, sir, for um, offering this class. Um, I just um, got in some time towards the end. And so uh, one thing I wanted to find out was I kept getting um, network issues. And I, I found out also that you have like um, recordings. Um, so I wanted to find out where we need to go to get recordings and what we need to do. The first three recordings we are going to upload in our YouTube channel. And those links is going to share in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So the link right. is already given in the chat box. You can please join the group. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Lakshman, you can unmute. Hello. Hello. Yes, Lakshman. I am your last batch AWS 182. Uh, DevOps. AWS DevOps batch. Hello. Two batch number. Yes, it's Lakshman. Last batch uh, in August. Yes, let's start. Sir, I want to know, but I am not listening there. Uh, I have taken a course, but uh, I am not listening there. as of now. Uh, I have to know about hmm. the project, sir. Let's see one question. Project is already given in the... Sir. Uh, if you check the last PPT of that particular batch. Okay. Lakshman, is it a PPT? In uh, PPT, I don't remember the PPT. If you check that one, in that one, you will get a link of those projects. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I am not okay. uh, see that. Thank you, sir. So please check the last PPT, the quiz uh-huh. PPT. In that one, you will get. Yes, sir. Uh, if I put sir, these uh, both, sir, in the resume, sir, yeah, mm. both these courses, sir, can I put this? Yeah, definitely, yes. And with that, you can also put three, three, three plus years of experience you can put. After this uh, total course completion. Yes, yes, oh. Correct. Uh, sir, because I am from non finance uh, Thank you. Financial background. Finance background, sir. Can I get this? Sir? Yes. Hmm. Hello. Definitely, yes. Thank you. Yes, uh, sir, Lakshman, yes, you can. Yes, Lakshman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Presently, I am going, I, am, I want to go to Australia, sir. That's why I'm taking this course, sir. Thank you for this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, Ankita. Yeah, hi, Ankita. Uh, first of all, congrats on H1B. Hi. Thank uh, you. I'm currently pursuing. Hello. Yes, Ankita. Yes, Ankita, I'm able to hear you. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, congrats on your H1B. And I'm currently pursuing a master's in the USA. And okay. I would like to pursue my career in into AWS cloud domains, like AWS DevOps positions. Like, can you give me some tips? Like, how do we get into entry level positions into the same? First, you need to learn it. Uh, did you complete that courses first? Yeah, I do have Thank around three years of experience as a DevOps engineer. Okay. Are you able to hear me, Venkata? Yes, thank you. 
Okay. You said that you want to start your career. You already have it. Uh, I need to start my career after my master's. Like, uh, back in India, I had which year? experience. When can so I get in which year? In, I'll be graduating in May 24. Next year? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what you are doing right now? You just doing college, or you are doing some job also with that? As of now, I have a. I am on CPT, so I am having a internship as of now. Ha CPT yes. Okay, so where are you doing internship? In uh, like in one of the healthcare domains, I am doing as a cloud engineer intern. Which works on AWS. Okay, so. so Go in that. Go with the same. Am I right? The same. Uh, the around. company doesn't sponsor uh, full time. Ankit. Okay. So right now it's quite difficult for you to give those suggestions right now. You can do one thing. Let's complete your masters. Okay. I have already shared my email ID. Email me after that. We will see that. Okay. Yes. So sure, sir. Sure. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Yes, Tosha, you can unmute. Uh, sorry to ask you. See, sometimes I'm facing some audio breaks in between. Is this happening for everyone or uh, only I'm facing it? Um, you all are facing it because the problem is at, for today from, from my internet connection. I'm facing some internet connection issue right now. So okay. everyone is facing that issue. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Morika, you can unmute. Hello. Yes, Morika, you can unmute. So you can ask your question. Uh, hi, Ankit. Hi. Actually, I'm totally from non-IT sector. Mm -hmm. I prepared for some government jobs. Now I realized okay. to move on to this uh, cloud computing. Uh Okay. Actually, actually, I don't have any idea about uh, the software or uh, IT sector. So I'm asking a suggestion. Hmm. Is it uh, better for my career? Do you are you know which thing you have completed your master's or graduation, or in which actually, year you have done? Actually, I completed in two thousand twenty. Okay, so you have a gap, have years, lag gap near yeah. about three years. Yes. So yes. yes, if you are after completion of this one, if you are going to apply for a job, they are definitely going to consider as a fresher. So as a yes. fresher, you can apply for the jobs. Yes. So you can apply with yes. freshers, Monica. Yes, yes, but I'm asking that is it helpful for my for my career? Definitely, yes. I In IT industry, nowadays, if a person wants to get a better package and easy job, the person is always switching to cloud platform. Because okay. right now, cloud platform is having more jobs rather than any other technology. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, Durgesh, you can unmute. Hello. Yes, Durgesh. Uh, sir, uh, actually, I am working as a Sari engineer, and uh, I I uh, I work on these technical uh, whatever is the course content we have shared. Uh, mm -hmm. basic, basic things I have done on that, but okay. I want to explore some more things so that I it could be you know practical way I can develop something. Uh, for like practical uh like a project I want to develop for all these technology. So. Okay. Uh, my question is there. Uh, would be we uh we will be using the use cases for all this technology or just the basic things will cover. Whatever I earlier I said, Durgesh. Again, I'm repeating to you also. Whatever is covering is part of the course content. It's in the course content. So everything whichever I'm covering is mentioned in the course content. So please refer the course content, Durgesh. Okay. Okay. okay, so you will get all the details which have things I'm covering. Okay, thank you. Yes, Sheikh, you can unmute.
Yes, Sheikh, you can unmute and ask your question. Hello, sir. Yes, Sheikh. How many experience for AWS Cloud, sir? After completion of this training? Uh -huh. Two. Not more than two, yes. you can. Sir, uh, AC, uh, AC2 instance uh, uh, launch uh, for uh, pay to... No? Sorry? Sheikh, I'm not able to understand your question, but you're talking about EC2. Sheikh, are you able to hear me? Anusha, you can unmute and ask your question. Uh, uh, hi, Ankit. Yes, I hi. spoke to you earlier also. So okay. as I told... Um, I have an experience of five years and everything in IT operation. So, I mean, analyst domain. So, uh, as I have told, I have registered for this AWS cloud architect exam. So, mm. for that, uh, this whatever you teach every day, that is for 45 days, that would be mm. helpful, which you told to someone that time that it would be more about practical session than theoretical session. So, I can mm. buy that dumps, whichever you guys are providing, and I'll be able to... Uh, get prepared for the exam, right? Yes. Those are 100% reliable dumps. Okay. Okay? Yes, Thank you. sir. Okay. Yes, Thank I you. Yeah, hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, Ankit, yeah, I have a question. For uh, AWS, we have one more certification for CISO. So if we go direct for uh, tech level or first go to for CIS level? Like CISOPS. if you want to go with specialist one, CISOPS. Or CISOPS, you can directly go. This is coming under associate one. You can okay. directly go with that one. Associate the first chip. Then after okay. that, the professional and then specialist one. So any one, any one of the associate one, you can go with that. But we are not training, giving the training. We are providing the training for that particular one. Okay, so both the content is different, right? Uh, yeah, services and... are not same. Okay. Services are different in architect associate, developer associate, or administrator associate. Services are not same. Services are completely different. Okay, one more one question. So I have a nine year experience in Windows VMware. So can mm -hmm. I go on AWS or Azure? Sorry, I have a nine year experience in Windows and VMware. So can I go uh, AWS or Azure? It's completely up to you. Whichever you want, you can go with that. Okay. Okay. So, so how much you're charging for recording? Uh, uh, okay. For which thing? Yeah, this uh, this uh, uh, training. Live training is free for AWS Architect Associate. No charges okay. for attending live training. If you need recording notes and other things, there you need mm -hmm. to pay. So, how much? One double seven zero INR. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So uh, yes, after this certificate completion, so we can put over to your experience. Uh, yes. And even those are going to pay for that, they will get a course completion certificate also from our side. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Mohan Babu, you can unmute. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. So I was part of the batch one twenty eight, okay, uh, previous batch, mm -hmm. but uh, I got the dumps everything uh, that time itself. But uh, since uh, now we'll be having the uh, dumps will be updated, right? So can we get uh, the latest dumps as well? If you're going to pay for this batch, for this batch you will get the latest dump. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, Rao, you can unmute. Yeah, hi, Inkit. Hi. So I have around seven years of experience in IT, and uh, I worked as a, I'm working as a PLSQL developer right now. Okay. From past uh, six months onwards, uh, I'm working with Oracle DI. DI or DBA? DI. Okay, I'm not aware of that. What is DI? You can continue your question. 
so my doubt is uh, so can i go with uh, uh, aws solution architect or uh, aws developer which one is good for me no i am not much aware of what is dii seriously speaking uh, so right. we can uh, yeah we uh, leave that uh, oracle cloud uh, so i'm i have uh, experience on plsql developer Okay. SQL and PLSQL. So, which one I need to choose? Which is good for me? You are take, talking about uh, your career, what? Yeah. You want a job also? Yeah, career for my career. As a career, if you want, you can go with the developer one. But if I talk about jobs, architect associate is having more jobs than developers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ankit. I got it. So now you think about double, your career or you think about the job also. Okay. Yeah. If you want a job also in cloud, then I go. you can go with the architect associate. If you're just changing your career, then you can go with developer associate also. Okay. Or you can search on Nokri.com on Monster also. You will get more jobs in architect associate than developer. Okay. 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 You can check those. Thank you. Also. Yeah. Thank you. Ankit. Yes, Rama, you can unmute. Can hear me? Yes, I'm able to hear you. Hi, good evening. Um, so, yeah, I, this is my first session, okay? I got it. Uh, today is the first uh, session of this batch. Oh, today is the first session, yeah. Yes. Thank you. And uh, so just, just a thought of asking a question. I was you know, a little late joining the call, but, you know, is there any limitation to join this call? You know, when I was trying, you know, it's keep asking, you know. It was limited. People can join at one time. Maximum uh, limitation. But seems to me it was showing like it's 500 users already filled. So don't have... No, it was 1,000 is the limit, maximum limitation we have for the Zoom license which we have. Oh, okay. Yeah, this might be more than 1,000 was part of this call probably. That can be the reason, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Because, because you know, while getting into this uh, room, right, <laughs> it took almost, you know, 15 minutes. It was keeping... It can be the reason, up. yes. That's my... Okay, got you. Yeah, thank you very much. That's what I thank thought you. of, you know, uh, just asking. Yeah, rest of them, you know, I'll get in touch, you know, in the upcoming classes and the whole sure. Thank you. Yes, so that you can unmute. Uh, yeah, uh, Ankit, just one thing, like how we can join this course, like uh, just now to buy the, I mean, like I have to make the payment of 177 or like uh, do we need to just wait for the link to get it from the faculty? No, whichever you feel comfortable, we can go with that way. Whichever you want, you can go with that way. Okay. So now for this batch, if I want to make a payment, like the mm -hmm. current one, mm -hmm. which I want to join. So because you said it like... Batch Tuesday, number you're talking about? Yeah, this same batch right now, what we are, mm -hmm. you are presenting. Yeah, so okay. that I want to join. Ah, okay. Okay. If you want, I can share the payment link also with you. Just a minute. Okay. Just a minute. Here is it. So I'm sharing that particular link in the chat box. Here, Ashti. Thank you. And okay. uh, you can click on that link. This... Uh, sure, Ankit. Thank you so much. And uh, okay. this thing will start from like when? Like from the from tomorrow itself? Because you said it like from Tuesday to Saturday, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, Tuesday to Saturday for, uh, for India. So it means today is Thursday. Yes. So to, tomorrow also we have session. So tomorrow we will start learning something new. Today is just an introduction okay. session about mm -hmm. it, me and about you guys. From tomorrow we'll start learning. Oh, fine. Okay. Same timing, right? Eight, eight to nine, right? For the IST. Timing, start time is eight timing. 8 a.m. Okay. I can't predict about end time because it depends on the questions also. Where if I talk about right now in India, time is 9.40. So we are already right. more than 40 minutes. Okay. So right. start time is at always at 8 a.m. Okay. God. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so now you can unmute. Hello. Yes, sir. You can unmute and ask a question. Yes, uh, actually, I have three years of experience uh, that is not completely IT as a senior mm -hmm. 
and uh, i have a one and of year gap ex one and of year uh, gap okay. and uh, i want to uh, i just started to aws and uh, uh, start my career uh, then in cloud so uh, should i start with a, uh, should i start as a fresher Do you, what is your previous experience is it in cloud no no, no. that is not a cloud so, so definitely it will they are going to consider as a fresher yeah uh, as a fresher uh, uh, after completion of this course as a fresher uh, this course is enough to get a job definitely uh, yes this I... course and after that if you want a better package or if you okay. need more opportunity after completion of this course you can go with the devops part also okay uh in the only aws should i get a job uh, as a fresher with aws I'm... also you will get a with aws also you will get a job but yes you will get less opportunities uh, and you will get a less package okay okay uh, along with the uh, devops uh, i have a more op opportunities right and better package also yeah sure thank you okay thank, thank you, you. Yes, Mayur. Actually, uh, I have experience in Sayur in .NET technology. Okay. In which technology? .NET. Sorry. .NET. .NET. Oh, .NET. Yeah, .NET developer. Okay. Uh, which is the best means uh, there are uh, developer AWS developers or architecture or administrator which is the best. You can go with the AWS developer also. And earlier I said that our AWS developer is having very less jobs in the market. Okay. If yeah. I talk about a 50 jobs, we have it architect associate, only five jobs you will get for developers. Okay. So this much of huge difference you will find in that market. Okay. okay. Yeah. Any more question, Mayur? Uh, no, no, fine. Understand. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so with this, I'm going to end the session here. In tomorrow's session, we are going to learn about how to create our AWS account. And then we'll start our first service called EC2. Thank you all. Thank you for joining today's session. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Thank you.